A Stillwell family is outraged tonight after a man ran a car through half their house, but the trooper let him leave without so much as a ticket. News on 6 crime reporter Lori Fulbright is on the story new at 6. The Williams family says the man who did all this damage to their home only had a learner's permit. The vehicle's insurance had been bought an hour after this crash, and the paper tag on the vehicle was bogus. It sounded like a bomb went off. Mom, dad, and six kids were asleep last Tuesday at 4 a.m. when a car slammed into their bedroom, living room, and another bedroom, barely missing their four-year-old by inches. He said it through our trampoline, our fence, our doghouse. I mean, he had to really be going really fast. She and called 911 but says the man wanted to make a deal. I'm like, make a deal on what? And he's like, the house with no cops. And I said, no, we need to deal with your insurance. And he, he says said, the trooper told her the driver wasn't drunk. The car owner was following as they worked for a car lot shuttling cars and had proof of insurance. So the men were released. Jesse says the car lot told her the men did not work there and the paper tag did not belong on that vehicle. The insurance company told her the owner bought the policy after the crash. I am so mad because if I can see that something's not right, how did they make it past the police? OHP tells me verifying information can take some time, but they have now issued tickets to the driver for inattentive driving, only having a learner's permit and no insurance, and to the owner for allowing an unlicensed driver to operate a motor vehicle. So all those things we have worked years to get, it's just gone in seconds. And it's not fair that he gets to walk away. The tickets order the two men to show up to court in Adair County, of course, will follow the case. Lori Fulbright, News on